is it fine Ahmed and today we are going to study about the cell division and the cell cycle so in the last lecture we studied about uh, the mitosis and its significance and we will study more about mitosis and then we, then we will study about the meiosis then we will study about cell cycle uh, how the cell cycle goes on so the di diagram uh, which you can see here on the screen so this diagram is of the cell cycle so cell cycle will also be discussed in uh, detail okay so let us start uh, with the mitosis so the mitosis as we already studied about the mitosis so the main feature of the mitosis what is the main feature of mitosis so that is the attachment of chromatids uh, to the opposed poles of the mitotic segment so mitotic mitosis has one of the important and essential feature that what happens in mitosis the chromatids those get attached to the opposed poles of the mitotic spindle mitotic spindle of, uh, get, uh, get attached to the opposed poles okay. what happens because of this step what happens that the daughter cells each of the daughter cells that will receive a complete set of chromosomes so the daughter cells will get a complete set of chromosomes and the mitotic spindle that is mainly made of uh, that will consist of microtubules uh, and to which a, to which a tubular assembly of molecules that is uh, binded by a protein called tubulin so tubulin protein is important because it helps to assemble it helps to assemble microtubules so some microtubules those extend from one spindle or from one pole to other pole while some extend from one spindle pole to a chromatid means there is from pole to pole and from pole to chromatid so microtubules those is a, and those can extend from pole to pole or those can extend from spindle to spindle and uh, microtubules have one more important characteristic that they these can grow these can shrink and grow by addition of tubulin molecules and these can shrink by removal of tubulin molecules so this is the important characteristic of microtubules so what we can see here that microtubules this can grow when we add the tubulin protein and this can shrink when uh, we uh, remove the tubulin protein so uh, for shrinkage and for growth for both growth and for both uh, shrinkage a tubulin protein is necessary okay so one more thing is that shortening of spindle microtubules uh, which occurs at the anaphase it what it does it propels uh, uh, attached chromatids uh, to the spindle poles or you know, we can see that it throws the chromatids to the spindle poles and they uh, where they form a new nuclei so this is the important characteristic of one of the important characteristics of the mitosis one more thing about mitosis is that the two poles of mitotic spindle these are completely occupied by the centrosomes and which form microtubule arrays and there is difference in animal cells and in other cells so in animal cells each centrosome contains a pair of cylindrical centrioles which are themselves composed of complex arrays of microtubules okay so uh, what centrioles do these duplicate at a time in the cell division and and usually to the close to the start of dna and replication and after the mitosis is complete there comes another process that is called as cytokinesis so what happens in cytokinesis there is the division of the cytoplasm means the cytoplasm divides into two parts so this is another process in which animal and plant cells differ cytokinesis differentiates the division of plant cells from the division of animal cells so in animal cells what happens that cytokinesis that is achieved through constriction of the cell by contractile microfilaments uh, for example actin is there myosin is there which are contractile proteins which help in the muscle contraction actin and myosin and these proteins are involved in muscle contraction and all other forms of cell movement so cytokinesis is what that basically means that cyto means cytoplasm and kinesis means division so cytokinesis means division of the cytoplasm and this occurs at the end of the mitosis when mitosis is complete there will occur a process that is known as cytokinesis okay and in animal cells that is achieved by actin and myosin so now we will come to the next type of cell division that is meiosis which is also called as a sex cell division 
okay so there will be two divisions in the meiosis equational and reductional division so we will study about that in detail so this is meiosis or sex cell division so this diagram uh, depicts the whole process of meiosis the whole phases of meiosis like metaphase first is there early anaphase first is there late anaphase first is there telophase first okay prophase second metaphase second anaphase second telophase second so, so th these are the different uh, phases so we will start with the basic cell so uh, when the mitosis when the when the meiosis starts so the dna strands those uh, tend to become thicker and convert into chromosomes okay and homologous or we can say that homologous chromosomes these are also called as like chromosomes these begin to approach each other okay and in second step what happens that the homologous chromosomes these pair to form bivalents as you can see from here these pair to become the bivalent these are bivalents okay and the centriole divides you can see here the centriole uh, divides and it moves to the opposed poles of the cell this and this centriole forms a structure that is called as ester and in uh, next step what happens that the bivalents which were produced in the last step these duplicate to form the tetrads this is a tetrad okay uh, composed of the four chromosomes so the bivalents these will duplicate this will form tetrads or we can see that this will form four chromatid groups okay and nuclear membrane that will disintegrate that will break down and the crossing over will uh, take place crossing over or uh, that's also called as the combination so here the combination will take place in this step in the next step that is metaphase first the tetrads which were formed in the last phase attached to the spindle fibers at the uh, centromeres these line at the mid of the cell you can see here that the alignment is in the middle of the cell okay and in next step what happens anaphase first early anaphase first uh, the tetrads which were formed these will uh, uh, get separate and the pure chromatids these will move along the spindle to their respective centrioles this will move to the this centriole and this will move to here so this will uh, move to the opposite centrioles and in late anaphase first the chromatids have almost reached the spindle poles they almost have here reached the spindle poles and the cell membrane begins to constrict you can see this from here diagram the cell membrane this will start to constrict and in telophase first nuclear membrane that encloses the separated chromatids okay and the cell membrane completes its constriction here the cell membrane will complete its uh, process of constriction and in the first meiotic division when the first meiotic division ends they, there are now two cells you can see here one and two and each cell has the same number of chromatids as there is in the parent cell you can see here this is parent cell and this is these are the cells which are formed after the mitotic division and what happens that this was the mitotic division okay so now prophase second begins and in this uh, meiotic division what happens homologous chromatids these do not duplicate but these separate here duplication was occurring but here separation is occurring and in metaphase second the chromatids these lie at mid cell and the centrioles and the esters these are at the poles a spindle has formed you can see here and in anaphase second the sub now separated chromatids which were separated here these approach their respective poles and the cell membrane begins to constrict and in the last phase that is telophase second and that when it has been completed telophase second there are now four cells each with half of the number of chromosomes of the parent cell so here the chromosome number is halved that's why this uh, meiosis second is called as reductional division and meiosis first this is called as equational division because here the chromosomes were same here the chromosomes are halved the number of chromosomes of the parent cell okay these become half so this is the whole process of meiosis now this uh, the definition what is the main definition of the meiosis is that it is a specialized division of chromosomes and it occurs uh, on the formation of reproductive cells so by the process of meiosis reproductive cells are formed or we can see that gametes are formed uh, of those organisms which are sexually reproducing not asexually 
this is for sexually reproducing organisms uh, gametes for example we can take the, take the example of ova which is produced in females sperm which is produced in males and pollen which is produced in uh, reproductive flowers these begin as germ cells and uh, which like other types of cells have two copies of each gene in their nuclei okay then the chromosomes which are composed of these matching, matching genes these are called as homologs already told you that homologs are those chromosomes which are composed of matching genes or same genes and during dna replication each chromosome duplicates into two attached chromatids you can see you already saw that from the diagram so the homologous chromosomes these are then separated to opposite poles of the meiotic spindle by microtubules which are similar to those of mitotic spindle and at this stage in the myso uh, meiosis of germ cells and there is a crucial difference uh, from the mitosis of other cells what's that difference we will uh, see that so what is the what is that difference is that in meiosis the two chromatids which make up chromosome these remain together so that the whole chromosomes are separated from their homologous partners okay so two chromatids which make up chromosome these remain always together why because the whole chromosomes are separated from their homologous partners in meiosis so then cell cell different than ours then a second cell different than ours which resembles mitosis so meiosis second is uh, similar to that of the mitosis because it separates the chromatids of each remaining chromosome that's why meiosis second we can uh, it is uh, uh, similar to that of the mitosis process when meiosis is complete what happens each mature gamete receives only one copy of each gene in a state of two copies present in other cells so at the completion of the meiosis what we get that each mature gamete either it may be ova or it may be sperm or it may be pollen it receives only one copy of each gene in a state of two copies which are present in other cells so this was about the meiosis now the second topic is that is cell division cycle what is cell division cycle what are the various phases in cell division cycle you can see from here this is the first growth phase here this includes the first growth phase what happens in first growth phase that there occurs the growth and normal metabolic roots okay in synthesis phase there occurs dna replication in uh, second growth phase there occurs growth and preparation for mitosis and last one is mitotic phase as we have already discussed uh, there are phase prophase metaphase anaphase telophase okay and these are des designated by various uh, symbols like g1 is there s is there g2 and m okay so this is called interphase and this is called mitotic phase means g1 s and g2 these are this is called as interphase and g, uh, g1 s and g2 interphase and m is called as mitotic phase so in prokaryotes which don't have well defined nucleus so prokaryotes are those organisms which don't have well defined nucleus so in prokaryotes what happens that dna synthesis that can take place without any interruption between cell divisions and new cycles of dna synthesis can be done before previous cycles have been finished so this is in prokaryotes which don't have well defined nucleus in their cell but eukaryotes which have well defined nucleus okay these duplicate their dna exactly one during a discrete period between cell divisions so this period is then called as synthetic phase or we can say say that it is called as s phase and this s phase is then followed by a phase called or a period called g1 means first gap and then followed by a period called g2 uh, and during g2 what happens dna synthesis never occurs okay and so during g2 uh, nuclear dna synthesis does not occur and the four periods g1 s g2 and m which are all for the mitosis these make up the cell division so cell division is also essential for the growth of the cell because there are various phases there is g1 phase there is synthetic phase there is g2 phase and there is mitosis phase so g1 s and g2 these prepare the cell for mitosis so these are essential for the process of mitosis to take place and one more thing is that the cell cycle 
it, it uh, generally lasts between 10 to 20 hours. Means for a cell to complete its cell cycle, it will generally take 10 to 20 hours. In those cells which are, uh, which are uh, proliferating rapidly and which are adult cells, okay. But there is, there is one exception that it can be arrested for weeks or months uh, in quinescent cells or it can be arrested for lifetime in neurons of the brain uh, during which uh, during, uh, that's called as a paralysis. So if the uh, arrest is prolonged, if the arrest is uh, uh, prolonged for a large uh, period of time, uh, pro pro that can occur, pro prolonged arrest, this can usually occur during G1 phase. Okay, and this is sometimes called a G0 phase, uh, which is also called as quinescent phase. And if we take an example, if we differentiate it with those embryonic cells, such as uh, food flies are there, which are also called as vinegar flies, this can complete entire cycles and divide only in 11 min minutes, as, compared, as comparison to the human cells, which can sometimes take 10 to 20 hours. But embryonic cells, uh, I have given the example, for example, uh, vinegar flies are there, those can complete their entire cycle in 11 minutes. So this, this is an exceptional case. Uh, in these exceptional cases what happens that G1 and G2, these we can't detect and mitosis alternates with DNA synthesis. And one more thing there occurs that duration of the S phase that varies dramatically. Okay, The fruit fly embryo that takes only 4 minutes to replicate its DNA as compared to the humans which can take 10 to 20 hours which is compared to the several hours in the cells of the same species so this was about the cell cycle how the cell cycle occurs what are the various phases of the cell cycle okay so this was all for the today uh, and next topic we will study in next lecture we will study about the next topic so thank you